Hi, we're, we're from, from Elizabethtown College. College. My name is Mark Yorgi, and I'm a senior in computer engineering. My name is Elizabeth Starkey, and I'm a senior in computer engineering. My name is Andrew Vanderpool, and I'm a senior in mechanical engineering. And this is our hybrid sun tracking system. We use a variety of Phoenix contact equipment to do control and sensor measurements. We move the panels using uh, motors donated from Lutron and linear actuators. For the elevation axis of the array, we use the nano solar calculator to track the sun's seasonal changes. For the polar axis, we used a small solar panel to scan the sky and track the sun throughout the day. When the scanning panel finds the best angle, the large array is sent to that same angle. This is beneficial for when the best angle may be slightly different than the expected orthogonal value. This is the nano we use to control the movement of the panels based on the sensor data it collects. We use the shade motors from Lutron to move the panels through their polar axis. For our feedback control, we use accelerometers to check what tilt the panels are at. This is the Lutron contact closure input box that we use to communicate with their motors. We have the relay outputs of the control nano hooked up to the contact closures, so we can move the motors one direction or the other. The linear actuators extend to move the panels into the daily elevation angle. These are the relays we use to control the actuators. The relay on the right is the one that we use to select which actuator we're controlling. When the selector relay is on, we're controlling the sensor panel. When relay 1 and 4 are on, the actuator extends. When the selector relay is off, we're controlling the array panels. When relay 2 and 3 are on, the actuator retracts. We use this current sensor to measure how much power is being produced by the scanning panel. We use this other current sensor to measure how much power is being produced by all the panels collectively. To get array current values from this nano over to the control nano, we used Ethernet modules on both of them. Since nanos with Ethernet modules can only act as Modbus slaves, they can't directly talk to each other. So to be able to transfer the values between them, we wrote a Java application that serves as the Modbus master. Using the chronological solar calculator in the nano, we move the sensor panel and the array panel to the elevation angle for the current day. We use the actuators to move the panels and the accelerometers to determine when they have reached their desired position. Next, the scanner panel moves all the way to the west and then scans the sky. We pulse the Lutron motor once for each point in the scan and record the accelerometer value of the position that generates the most current. Next, we transfer the array current to the control nano, and the control nano determines whether or not to send the array to the calculated position.